Scotland went into this season's RBS Six Nations with only one defeat since the end of the 2016 Championship, that a very narrow one to Australia. The Scots hopeful of giving coach Vern Cotter a big send-off before he leaves his post this summer. Ireland too came into this year's campaign full of confidence after autumn international wins against New Zealand, Australia and having won their last three against the Scots in the Championship. The home side drew first blood with just eight minutes on the clock. The Irish defence was battling to keep the Scots out just a couple of metres short of the line but when the ball was moved wide by Finn Russell, Gary Ringrose was unable to make the interception and Stuart Hogg was there to race over for the opening try of the game and of this year's championship. It was the Glasgow man's 14th try for his country and a perfect start and Greg Laidlaw landed the conversion for a seven points to no score lead. Ireland were struggling to take advantage of good attacking opportunities with a misfiring line-out and the Scots made the men in green pay midway through the first half and once again it was that man Hogg who did the damage. The full-back's pace and dummy pass to Seymour outside him saw him glide over for the second try of the game. With the new bonus point system being trialled this season, the Scots were already halfway to the four-try bonus with an hour left to play. Laidlaw's conversion in windy conditions was an absolute beauty and it was 14 points to nil on the scoreboard. Ireland were badly in need of a score to settle into the game and it wasn't long in coming. Joe Schmidt's men finally got off the mark in the 26th minute when a long looping pass from Simon Zebo was missed by Tommy Seymour and Keith Earls got over by the corner flag. Referee Romain Poitre checked with the TMO for confirmation that the Munster man's score was good. There was little doubt and although Jackson missed the conversion, the gap was back to nine points, 14 points to five. Scotland came into the game with just one win from their last seven at Murrayfield against Ireland. The Cotter's men are showing that they're made of sterner stuff these days and remarkably they notched a third try just short of the half hour. Wonderfully quick thinking at the line out from Ross Ford and Alex Dunbar darted over the line as the Irish defence looked mesmerised. Great invention from the Scots and a case of Ireland wondering what hit them. The Edinburgh crowd in dreamland and when Laidlaw once more kicked a brilliant conversion it left it 21 points to 5. Paddy Jackson landed a late penalty to narrow the gap to 21-8 at the break and it was Ireland who dominated the early exchanges in the second half. The pressure eventually paying dividends in the 48th minute with Scotland desperately defending their line. Ian Henderson spotted the gap and forced his way over for a hugely important score for the visitors. The try was converted by his Ulster teammate Jackson to bring Ireland back to within just six points, 21 points to 15. Approaching the hour mark, the Irish again came close. The ball was fed to Rob Carney, but as he bore down on the goal line, Sean Maitland's fine tackle did enough to force him out of play before he could get his pass away to Earls. Another nervous moment for the home supporters. Romano, you there? Yeah, you have a decision. The player was in touch. Yeah. So it's a line-out Scotland ball. Thank you very much. The pressure was incessant, and in the 62nd minute, the almost inevitable third Irish try arrived. There'd been much focus on Paddy Jackson in the absence of Sexton, and the 25-year-old Ulsterman came up trumps with a wonderfully incisive break to find the gap and stretch for the touchdown despite the best efforts of Josh Strauss. He converted his own score, Ireland were ahead for the first time in the match, 22 points to 21. It was advantage the men in green, but Scotland, to their credit, didn't panic and worked their way into good position in the Irish half. A penalty was awarded when Jackson was slow rolling away. And Laidlaw, who was impeccable with the boot all day, took the three points with a well-struck penalty. Scotland back in front, 24 points to 22 in what was proving to be an enthralling encounter. Ireland were unable to muster another threatening attack and it was Scotland who finished the game on a high when Laidlaw fired over another penalty with the last kick of the game to seal a 27 points to 22 win and spark scenes of great celebration in Edinburgh. Scotland were 25 to 1 to win the championship before this game 
Those odds will be considerably shorter now after their first win in their opening match of the championship since 2006. Ireland must settle for a losing bonus in a match they really lost in the first 40 minutes. Final score at BT Murrayfield, Scotland 27, Ireland 22.